An animal with a 50 million year long evolutionary process over the course of 50 million years. Horses evolved from small, many toed animals to the majestic, single toed equines we know today. Some wild horses remain, but most are domestic animals used by humans for a variety of reasons. Transportation and battle have been historically important uses of the domesticated horse into the modern era. Although there is only one species of domestic horse, there are about 400 different breeds around the world. Horses have made an indelible mark on human civilization. Horses have bigger eyes than any other any other land-living mammal. The size and weight of these animals vary greatly from one breed to another. However, they all have the same general characteristics. The height is measured in hands instead of in inches. One hand equals the same as about 10 centimeters or 4 inches. All horses have long necks that hold up their large, long heads. They have big eyes and ears, which are well adapted for many environments. A mane of long hair grows down along their necks and their short tails are covered in coarse hairs, too. They come in a variety of colors because they have been bred so long for different traits. These animals are famously a hoofed mammal with one large toe at the end of each leg. Their hooves consist of horn material which comes in different colors. Black is the most common hoof color, but horses with white feet often have white hoofs. White hooves are actually more brittle than pigmented ones. Appaloosa horses have a beautiful mixture of multiple colors. These types of painted horses often have striped hoofs that include both pigmented and white hoof material. These animals have remarkable hearing and are almost able to have 360-degree hearing. Their sense of smell is better than that of a human but they tend to rely more on vision than smell. Their field of monocular vision is almost 360 degrees with a narrower field of binocular vision in front and slightly to the sides. The animal has a blind spot directly in front of the nose and directly behind it. For this reason it is better to approach from the side. Whether they can see color is inconclusive. They do have much better night vision than humans. These animals have an advanced sense of taste which allows them to sort through grasses and grains to find the things that they would most like to eat. These animals generally will not eat plants that are poisonous, but when the horse cannot find more adequate food, they will eat plants that contain toxins. Its gut is designed to have food flowing through it almost continually, and they graze most of the day if allowed. These animals are well suited to all kinds of environments and climates. Domestic horses can live almost anywhere as long as they have shelter, food, and space to run. Some of them have become feral, like North American Mustangs. These animals roam freely and comfortably along the prairies and plains of the western area of North America. These animals are herbivores, which means they eat a lot of vegetation, including grass and hay. Grass is the most common part of their diet and helps keep their digestive system running well. Hay is the most popular substitute in cooler months when grass is not available freely in pastures. These animals also enjoy fruits and vegetables, like cut-up apples and carrots. Salt, in the form of a salt lick or block, is also a great treat. A well-rounded equine diet will consist of a mixture of these types of foods. Domestic horses are protected by the shelter of their homes. In the wild, they are most in danger from attacks by large carnivores. Large cats or wolves pose the greatest threat for old, young, or sick animals. These animals will try to protect themselves by biting and kicking. In the wild, these animals have polygynous mating systems. One adult male, or stallion, would hurt a group of adult females, or mares, during the mating season. Stallions defend their mares from other males in the area in an intensive process similar to rutting in deer species. 
Domestic horses, however, are more selectively bred. This type of artificial selection has given rise to the many different breeds, sizes, uses, and colors of the modern day horse. An unborn foal spends about 11 months being carried by its mother. A baby that has not yet been weaned is called a foal and usually can stand and run a short time after it is born. After it is weaned from its mother, a young female is known as a filly and a young male is known as a colt. A full month after one foal is born, a mare can be mated again. However, horses that are castrated or spayed are known as geldings and cannot have offspring. Domestic horses live anywhere from 25 to 30 years on average. However, the oldest recorded animal died in 2007 at the remarkable age of 56 years old. The longest living wild horse is believed to be 36 years old before its death. Someone who works with these animals can tell their age by the pattern of tooth wear. There are thought to be more than 300 different breeds of these animals found around the world today, each being bred for a purpose. Enormous draft horses such as Clydesdales pull heavy wagons, lighter saddle horses are for riding, and pony breeds are suitable for children and small adults. Miniature animals, 30 and under, are primarily pets, though some have been used to guide blind people. Thoroughbreds are a breed that is most famously associated with racing activities. Just like most breeds, you can find thoroughbreds almost anywhere in the world. Horses of all sizes and sorts are part of petting zoos and other attractions, but the most famous ones to live in zoos today are Shavalsky horses. You can see this animal at the Smithsonian National Zoo. The Przewoksi, or Asian wild horse, is actually the last surviving wild subspecies of the domestic animal. Many zoos participate in conservation efforts. Shavalsky horse is famous for its shaggy, dark-colored mane and tail.